It makes intuitive sense to call objects like circles and spheres round. But what is it about a sphere that makes it round? If you're talking about how effective a shape is at enclosing a large volume, you mean sphericity. And a sphere is the shape that contains the most volume with the least surface area. That is, a sphere is the most spherical shape. But roundness has more to do with rolling than volume, right? A round object can roll smoothly, like a wheel or ball bearing. And the main feature that ball bearings need is to be the same width from one side to the other. It turns out there are plenty of non-circular shapes of constant width that are excellent bearings as well. The Rollo rotor, for example, is made up of segments from three circles intersecting at their centers. So every point on one side is the same distance from the opposite corner, and the rotor rolls around wonderfully. In fact, the Rollo rotor can even turn smoothly in a square hole. But don't try to use a Rollo rotor for the wheel of your car. Those points will make for a bumpy ride. In fact, the points on a Rollo rotor are just that, pointy. Doesn't that go against the idea of roundness? Well, geology has the answer. Stones with sharp or rough edges that are worn away become rounded. So we might say that a Rollo rotor is round, but not rounded. On the other hand, certain British coins are round and rounded, though they're still not circles. The 20 and 50p coins are heptagons of constant width, which means they look uncircularly cool without getting stuck in vending machines. And isn't it funny that rouleau means roll in French, and Franz Rollo invented a rolling rotor? <laughs>